today will be a story, a story that took place long, long ago, where the oceans and rivers were one, and all the land masses were all connected. I truly have no idea what that means. Um, I just wanted to make a survival world, and I thought this needed context, so this is that context from why my survival world is that okay here we go this is the tale of a little world me and my cousin had called survivors okay three two one go it all starts off right here in the little humble beginnings uh in this case i'll be the steve and my cousin was the alex okay humble beginnings uh, we spawned in a birch forest, and this is also the time where I didn't know how to play Minecraft, so I didn't really mind it. So we're like, oh yeah, birch forest, woo! And then, started building the foundations, I learned how to craft, I saw a little bit, I, I wanted to build a tree house, so I did. No nice little good old tree house. My cousin started building her nice little little house. And then oh we found our, our first dog. I, I, I tamed the first dog, obviously, you know. Had a nice good old dog. It was pretty neat. Uh, I named it Pity for some reason. I don't know why. I think it was like a trend in school for some reason but i i really have genuinely no clue why i named that dog pity like i don't i i really don't know i if you told me to explain it i literally could not explain it to you i do not know next i remember this stage very well is the creeper wall since we didn't know how to play minecraft and creepers were coming into our little land we had a little riverside by our land so since creepers were always coming to like blow it up, I thought, oh, I'll build a wall, a very big and massive wall, and make the creepers pay for it. You know, and I, I, I thought that that was what would keep the creepers away, not knowing, you know, light levels and the mob spawning and stuff. So I, I just, I, I built a nice little dirt wall. It didn't have glass, obviously, it was just for the like cinematic view. There's a dog. Well, my cousin finished her house by then. It was bigger than this, obviously. And then she had like a little wheat farm, too. For food, I assume. In my little tree house, nothing much changed from there. Next up is dog house and some more dogs. So my cousin actually got like a dog. Uh, her name was Poppy. And there's Pity over there. And then I got two more dogs after that. I got Flippy and Duncan. Yeah. Oh, also, by the way, Duncan has no correlation to Dunkin' Donuts, okay? That's just a very big coincidence. Anyway, on to the next one. Let's see. First building. Oh. So, of course, me and my cousin were big Stampy Cat fans, right? So I wanted to build like a like like a little slippery fellows like pool, right? But I put slippery fellows a leopardy pool because I'm an illiterate child that doesn't know how to spell. So that's the name of the pool, and I'm 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 in it. With grass apparently. And let's see what's next. Ah oh, yes, city beginnings. So this is when I first figured out how to cheat. In survival world so I, I literally just gave myself like it was stupid because I gave myself stuff and then I built it in survival mode I don't know why like I'm like oh I guess I'll just need like 10 stacks of like I don't know like obsidian to build this thing right so I thought like oh a good old fighting mob thing right hold up can I press the button oh uh, yeah so I got spawn eggs and then I just put them in and then like mobs would spawn Oh, and this, I thought it would be, like, the genius idea of having a hot tub with lava, you know? 
So that that's that's that. Those are our city beginnings. Yeah. Nice good old start up to a city of uh, uh, like a training center and a death death tub. Oh, and this is the library and the restaurant. I think you can guess which one's the library and the restaurant. Again, I had spawn eggs, and I thought, oh, what would be a wonderful, great idea? If you would press a button, and the pigs would fall off and die to their immediate fall, and you could cook them yourself. Basically, witness murder, and then cook it yourself. It, it, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I might try to recreate it, don't know. It's empty, obviously. Uh, then this is the library, obviously, no, no, you know, obviously things were way more bigger than they actually seem here, this is just for demonstration purposes, I just wanted to make that clear, you know, and then we actually went mine, it, it, you know, I, I literally built a whole city before I went mining for diamonds and some iron, I, okay, let me tell you this sad tale. I remember beforehand, me and my cousin when we had other worlds, we would literally cry, like actual tears, at the sign of about 64 iron ingots. Like literally, tears were poured down our face at the sign of iron. You could only imagine what happened once I found some diamonds, and I, that, you know, I was like, oh my god, bro. You're so excited. Well, my cousin's always been like more liking iron, and I've been more diamond. Obviously, I don't know. Oh, this is no real lava. And then my biggest project yet: Big Ben, a big old tower. Big old tower. Let's see. Let's, let's take a good old look. Nice little tower, with little gr glass on top. So if we go in here, have a little like 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 coffee shop up here with a little thing, you know. And then since me and my cousin found like cheating and like elytras, we, we just built, we just punched a hole to the glass top, and like like we did dares like, oh, who can glide to the pig? Woo! I didn't make it all to the pig. Let's see, zombie, oh zombie, pigman, ooh. This is very big. So, you know, my cousin, she is like a, a zombie pigman popped out of the portal. I had literally no clue why. Now I do. I use them for my gold farm. But we had in the, in the in that case, we literally did not know why a zombie pigman had to come up here when we didn't go in to get him out. You know, we were excited, and he lived in, in the wheat room. Remember that wheat room? Yeah. He lived in the wheat room in the little hole with lava. But he despawned, obviously, because I didn't put a name tag on him. And I was like, oh, he ran away. Well, I know what to do to get him back. I'll just get a spawn egg and spawn another. And then that one despawned. So every time we would play, I just gave myself, a, a, like, a stack. A zombie pigment just to spawn him whenever he was missing. So yeah, that's that. Let's see, new for- Oh! I learned how to make an iron golem. And a snowman. The snowman- The snowman's name is obviously creative name by a child, Snowy. I do not remember his name, actually. Might have been Henry, but I don't know. I think it might have. Not sure, though. I learned how to spawn in cats. This is my recreation of a cat. Yeah. Nice little cats, anyway. Oh, I made a big movie theater made out of out of wool. It was a bo it, it was really ugly. It was a box. I might make it later better though. Uh there it is, little movie theater right there. Oh, and then we did what the game was actually meant for, the epic battle of going to the end and dra Ender Dragon and fighting it. Yeah. We did that and apparently had no arms, so that's pretty neat. 
Oh. Oh. Uh, this one also needs a bit of context. So me as my child self going, I'm like, I need more space for my worlds. I'm going to make some space and delete some worlds. And I didn't do a backup save for my world. So, um, I just accidentally deleted it and couldn't find it one day. And that's where all this mess went to. You know, one of my first worlds with the best memories got straight up deleted. Uh, yeah. It got deleted. And now we have the whole cast here. We have the whole cast. Me and my dog, Pity, that I named for some reason. I got Duncan. I, she got Poppy. Zombie Pigman, Iron Golem, which name I think is Henry, Snowy, uh, Bark, uh, I don't know why I named him Bark, uh, we got Flippy, we got, we got Run, I think, yeah, Run, uh, creative, ch the creative children, and there are cats up there, but yeah, that, that was it, uh, and then, you know, I tried you know, so this is my journey now. I'm, I'm, I made a new survival world like a couple months ago trying to recreate all of this. And let me show you a little bit of what I have. Let's go to it now. Hello, this is, this is my project that I've... My project that I've been working on. You see that back there with the big sword with the tentacles and the little house in there? Yeah, that's my tree house. I personally think it's improved. Look at it. Big old house with some tentacles on it. But yeah, if you want a full tour of this world, stick in for next the next video. You know, next week's video, I'll, I'll give a tour of this survival world. And if, if, if you want to check, look at it. Oh, that's the dressing room. Hold up. Wrong thing. If you want to, I have, I have not cheated in this world. This world is no cheats. It's just normal survival world, you know? Normal casual, bruh. Oh, that's a pretty sappy note to end this thing on, but yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little story. If you want more little stories like that, um, yeah. And if, if you can guess what this reference, reference is from, then I'll, you get some cool kid points for that one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, tour, next video. I'll show you all the little details of this place. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Actually, why did I say bye-bye? No. See you guys later. Hit that subscribe button, bros. Like the like video, you know, all that, all that stuff. Do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why am I just being normal and saying bye and not forcing you? You know what? Let me be like one of those cringy YouTubers. Be like... Hey, bro, subscribe or else you're, there's going to be a big old tarantula under thine bed. I literally have no way to tell you how there will be a big tarantula, but, you know, you probably should subscribe because if not, the tarantula is going to get you. Yeah, just bye-bye. Enjoy your day. Watch more of my videos. Mostly enjoy your day. Goodbye.